Hey, Radcats and Cool Kitties. My name is Lenny Graves, and I have been away, but I am reporting in from my secret fortress on Krypton because I wanted to do some tarot card reading for you guys because I haven't in a week or two. I've been having to do some things. I apologize for that. If you don't know my things, my work, however you want to put it, I am a tarot card reader, astrologer, psychic medium, and a little bit of a demonologist and magician. I do lots of different stuff. But tonight, again, I'm going to use these tarot cards, and I'm going to answer a question for you that's probably been weighing on you. Um, should you hold on or should you let go? I know I've had that problem myself. I recently had to let go. It's hard to let go, isn't it? Because we want to hold on sometimes, but sometimes we just got to let go. But sometimes it works either way, doesn't it? Sometimes it's easy to let go, but we need to hold on. So maybe we'll use the cards tonight and we'll be able to find out an answer. Let's give it one more shuffle. I hope you've been doing well. This is a timeless reading. Whenever it finds you, it was meant to find you. It doesn't matter on the date or anything like that. Right now it is hot. It is summertime in the city. And let's see what the cards have to say. The first card I'm pulling is the Eight of Swords reversed. The second card I'm pulling is the Ace of Pentacles reversed. The final card I'm pulling is the Nine of Cups. All right, here's something that we really got to be honest with. I think maybe you should let go. And the reason I'm saying this is because we got the, the Seven of Swords. And um, when you have the Seven of Swords, it's a guy stealing the swords, right? He's not a nice person. He's a thief. He's a liar. He's deceptive. Usually, when the card's upright, you can you could be the one who's deceptive because we're all a little deceptive from time to time, right? But when the card's inverted like it is, that means you are being deceived, my guardian, lovely soul. The Ace of Pentacles inverted. Okay, because you're in the relationship right now that you're in, the seed of new love, because the Ace of Pentacles is kind of like an earthy seed sometimes, I think. And like, you know how you plant a seed and you get a beautiful flower? It's the same thing with love, right? Well, it's upside down and that's keeping you from the love so when you let go and we're going to pull a clarifying card and stop worrying about it we're going to pull two clarifying cards because sometimes the deck's that way you're going to be at rest and finally one more card because i want you to be happy at the end you're going to be happy and the reason it is is because you need to let go what you're in you know it's hard to let go sometimes like i said sometimes it's hard to stay sometimes it's hard to let go but the cards are telling me as soon as you let go it's not going to be roses and sunshine that's the thing and a lot of tarot card readers will do that and i will never do that to you my dark and lovely soul sometimes when we move from one relationship to the next relationship shit, we're sitting by ourselves for a while right we're scrolling through facebook or we're on freaking tinder or whatever but it's facebook i'm getting old right um doing whatever trying to find another dark and lovely soul to match up with and sometimes it takes a little bit of a while we worry but take this opportunity to rest, to focus on you, and just be who you want to be. Be happy. But don't worry about anybody else right now except the person that you should probably let go. Because when you do that, you're going to move forward. You're going to find happiness in the end. It's just going to take a little while to get there. But if you don't, if you continue to hold on, you're going to have happiness in the short term. Sorry, I said I pull three cards and pluck nine because sometimes it needs to be a little bit. Some readings are easy, some are hard. This thing keep getting filled. I need to tell you a little bit more. Um, right now, you might even think, "Well, I got a good home life. Everything's freaking a okay and steady and stuff like that." But man, down the road, down the road, it's gonna hit you. You're not gonna like what's up. So take it from your friend Lenny Graves. Maybe it's time to think about moving on. If this reading didn't resonate for you against general reading on the internet, maybe you're really, really happy and stuff, but I don't think you'll last this long if you are. This is the sign you've been looking for. Maybe it's time to move on. And you know what? Even if you're feeling like maybe you should, sometimes there's a lot to leave you a little piece of advice. If you really love something, you let it go. And if it comes back to you, you know, it kind of loved you. Maybe you're in a bad spot right now. Maybe you're not thinking everything's the best you can. Move on. If it's meant to be, They'll follow you out the door, if that makes sense, if you get the metaphor. Anyway, my dark and lovely soul, I wish sometimes the cards would just say, yes, hold on, you're going to have great love and stuff like that. I don't get that tonight, but I get that you're awesome. I thank you for staying with me. Uh, please like, subscribe. If it resonated with you, I love it when people say it resonates. So that would really appreciate it, or just a fire or whatever you'd like to put in the comments. I really, really do appreciate it. Anyway, have a great night, my dark and lovely soul. Everything will be awesome in the end.